Hey, good morning. I'm very glad you're here. My name is Kelvin I'm Tobias. I will be uh, explaining my performance assessment for D326 Advanced Agent Management. Starting with my business report summary, this report analyzes the most rented movies in the past five years using the detailed and summary tables built from the database. A1 identifies specific fields that will be included in both tables. Uh, rental ID, rental date, rental month, which is my transformational field, which I will explain later. A customer ID and return date for a summary table field will be the film title and total rentals. Uh, the detailed table gives uh, data about each rental, while the summary table helps business stakeholders uh, quickly see which films are the most popular. Uh, describe the types of data fields used for the reports. So the rental ID, total rentals, and custom ID will be integers. Uh, rental date and return date are going to be timestamp. And then lastly, rental month and film title are going to be bar char. Identify at least two specific tables given from the given data set that will provide the data necessary for the detailed table section and the summary table section for the report. I use these three tables, rental, inventory, and film. So rental contains the rental and return dates and which links to the inventory. And the inventory links each rental to a specific film and the film contains the film titles. Uh, also, just so you know, I'll be uh, demonstrating all of that data here in the PG admin. A4, identify at least one field in the detailed table section that will require custom transformation with a user defined function. That custom transformation is when I'm transforming the rental date to rental month. My user defined function, my user defined, <coughs> excuse me, user, my user defined function is get uh, rental month, which I will demonstrate here sh shortly. A5, explain the difference with uh, different business uses for detailed table section and summary table section of the report. The detailed table, useful for analyzing individual customer. Uh, rental behavior, identify return patterns, and performing audits, while the summary table helps business stakeholders quickly identify the most rented movies and make data-driven decisions about inventory promotions. Uh, as far as the interval for A6, I chose a weekly to monthly basis, as you know, within the United States, can't speak for the rest of the country, but movies are pretty much released on a consistent basis that every week, every month, we see a new film. So I thought that would be the best way and the most effective way for stakeholders to identify our business, our uh, our business report summary, which is analyzing the most rented movies in the past five years. So continuing with B, so our user defined function, I'm going to move to PG admin, so this is our user defined function right here. So I will run this and to demonstrate if this works, I commented this out. So this will su uh, successfully uh, display the month and the year in the format. I'm going to drop these tables if they exist because, of course, I ran I ran this before. Uh, so next, I'm going to create our, our source tables, our film inventory, and then our rental. They already exist. So now, if I was to say, just to demonstrate that everything works, so I'm select from the rental. film and inventory. Next I'm going to create our detailed uh, tables and summary tables. Those are created successfully. Now I'm going to select from both tables to show that they exist and as you can see this is equivalent to what is displayed above. And there we go. Total film title and total rentals, which is also what's created for the table. Here, film title and total rentals, as well as detailed rentals. I'll display that again. Rental ID, rental day, rental month. Film title, custom ID which is exactly what is displayed here when I created the table. So next is gonna move forward with uh, extracting the raw data. So this is going to, this is a join. So it can it joined a rental, which is I gave an alias of R, inventory, I, and film of F. So if I was to run this, it did, a set, it did select movies within that time frame. However, if I ran, if I use this where the rental date is, is greater than or equal to the current date, as you can 
can see here. Yeah, I did not select the title because the date of the movie was uh, was less than um, the current date. Uh, so next, the alter table. So this is this is going to ensure that the duplicate data is not going to be in, uh, inputted into uh, the function. So if it is not duplicated, therefore it will increment by one, in which you can see in the update summary tables uh, function here. So now I'm going to run this. That is correct. Uh, and then, as you can see, it says query return successfully create function. And then for the trigger, now this is going to clear out the existing data in our summary and uh, detailed tables. As you can see, I have truncate, which is going to keep the shape of the table or the structure, but remove the data that's within it. And I'm also going to insert new data uh, into both the detailed and summary tables. So to clear out the data, and say bye, say bye to all that work we just did. So that procedure uh, was created and it successfully cleared out the data, but but added the new data from uh, from the uh, excuse me, added the new data from the update summary rentals function. Sorry, the uh, said that backwards. I actually it cleared out the data, but updated it with the data that was uh, inserted from the rental refresh report. So I'm going to run this one more time. Procedure was created successfully. Successfully, so now to call this function. And if I was to select from the detailed rentals, number 10, the new data has been added from the previous function, which was refresh rental report. So that will effectively conclude my performance assessment at D326. This was a great class, and uh, thank you for everything. Take care.